I am Samuel Kessler, a student at the Gatton Academy from Campbellsville, Kentucky, here at Kentucky State University conducting research in the Aquaculture Center this summer. This summer I've received a research internship grant from the Gatton Academy, which is funded by Bill Gatton. Um, the research internship grant provides funding for undergraduate research for Gatton Academy students who can apply for the grant with a project proposal. This summer I've received a grant worth $2,000 to conduct research with Dr. Vikas Kumar. Our research project focuses on using the black soldier fly as a sustainable alternative protein source in aquaculture. The black soldier fly can connect waste management with nutritional food production. In addition to the research I've conducted here at the Aquaculture Research Center, I've also been able to investigate waste management abilities with local farmers. Um, John McLean is a local farmer in Taylor County with Mac Farms. He operates a biodigester which takes in organic waste and sequesters methane in a bladder to produce electricity, but it also produces a biodigestate byproduct. In a rearing trial with the black soldier fly larvae, we tested the introduction of anaerobic biodigestate into a substrate that also had distiller's grain and peat moss for black soldier fly feed. We focused on the digestate that was from the bladder stages where the methane is sequestered and also the byproduct from the digester. The results analyzed in Dr. Kumar's lab show that the black soldier fly retains protein and fat contents that would be suitable for aquaculture feed. At the Aquaculture Research Center at Kentucky State University, our project focuses on using the black soldier fly as an aquafeed ingredient that replaces both standard fish meal and oil with black soldier fly meal and oil. For eight weeks, we conducted a feeding trial with Nile tilapia with Enviroflight black soldier fly larvae, which are reared in Ohio on distiller's grain. We intend to showcase the results of our trial at the Aquaculture Research Conference in Las Vegas next year and also present this data at the Kentucky Academy of Science.